first week of my new job, I was starting to get the hang of things. I'm still learning. I had an MRI for my neck, and then my mom was kind enough to take me to go get my nails done for the first time since August. We also made a stop at Bath & Body Works since I was on my last pump of soap, and of course they have their new spring collection already on display. I thankfully only came away with my soaps and one candle, but there are definitely some that I might possibly go back to in the future. I'm just still trying to get through the collection that I have at home first, and then I might divulge into some of these newer spring styles. They have some really pretty designs this year. Carl and I got to spend some time together and we had a very nice lunch at Avila's El Ranchito. And then yesterday we went to Disney, but first we stopped at McDonald's to try some of their McGriddles, which I've never had before. Good morning. We are on our way to the Gem Fair in Costa Mesa and then to Disney. But first we had to stop and get some breakfast. So Carl got the sausage McGriddle. How is it? It's pretty good. And then also a hash brown. Mm -hmm. And I got the chicken McGriddle, which I've never had a McGriddle in my life. And I also got a hash brown. So hopefully it's nice and tasty. All right, so we're back in the car and it's just too complicated, I feel like, to try to get footage when we're visiting the gem fair just because one security reasons and i don't want to get admonished or kicked out considering carl paid for us to get in and two like you just don't know how the vendors feel about you filming their stuff um not that i would necessarily show faces but anyway it was very packed they had like what's it called dinosaur yeah, jurassic quest jurassic quest yeah. happening uh, on one end of this pavilion for the fair and then there's also like a home, a home show. show yeah so to speak happening that one is the only one that has free admission but we went to the gym fair and it was still pretty packed i was looking for some little tumble stone crystals to take to my new job so i can have like a little bowl of crystals at my little tiny cubicle but either I found stuff that was small and decent quality but it was too expensive or I found something that wasn't that good of quality for cheaper so it's already like one o'clock I didn't want to waste our time because we still need to go to Disney but what I did find was something on my list it's been on my list since January was some gold filled beads and this I guess is a local business so if I need to get some more for my jewelry making I can so here are the gold filled beads I'm hoping that these gold filled beads are going to last longer than uh, like brass or like gold uh, plated these definitely are nice and heavy which I just naturally, instinctively feel like they're going to last longer, like the quality's better. Um, so yeah, I had to get seven of these. They were not cheap. I think they were $20 each, or, or wait, I think that was the eight millimeter beads. Since these are six, they may have been slightly cheaper, maybe 15 or so. So yeah, not cheap. But this was practically the only vendor that actually had them available and they were already uh, pre, made on a bracelet. These technically fit like that. They go pretty well with my other stack that I have here, but I am planning on putting the heart crystal charm in there. So I may or may not have to just restring them with a little bit extra elastic so that the heart charm can also go there. So yeah, that was all I got. And then Carl did get one thing, but so dice. Yep. Are they crystal V6s? Quartz. So you got those, pretty cool. And yeah, now we are heading to the parks. Hopefully traffic is not horrendous. It actually is warm and humid. I'm wearing my pullover from Stony Clover's Princess Collection and I'm already kind of sweating, so we have the AC blasting, but it's 
go ahead and go to Disney. <laughs> I currently have it on full blast. We are standing in the shade, but with my sweatshirt and it's just muggy like weather, uh, this is gonna be really helpful. So thank you, Carl. So it's probably impossible to see, but the Incredicoaster is down. They evacuated people that were down below. There is um, one of the coasters stuck just near like the exit. I'm not going to show up because there's like a table of people over there. And I just saw some cast members walking up towards this tunnel. So I don't know if there's also a coaster stuck in there that they have to evacuate people. It's so scary. So you can see the people are still stuck. And there's some cast members up there, obviously to make sure that people are okay, but I don't see ladders or anything, so I have no idea how they would evacuate them or if they're just going to have to wait until the ride can continue. And I saw cast members again going up into that tunnel, but I haven't seen anybody come out, so there might be a coaster stuck in there somewhere. It's not like we did that much today, but for some reason I'm so tired I could get into my pajamas and go to bed right now, but I need to record this haul. So I already showed the beads from the gem fair, but now that I'm home, I can grab my crystal beads, these ones, and we can see what it'll be like with the new gold filled beads. So here's like one of the red ones, red hearts, for example. It's too bad that I'm gonna have to take this apart because it's already pre made, but I need to get this on here. So it's sadly going to be cut, and I do have elastic anyway. But like, just imagine like this. And yes, there are other people who make bracelets very similar, if not almost identical to this, but I cannot afford them. I just barely started my new job nine days ago and I'm getting half of the money hourly that I used to get last year as a teacher. So yeah, I had to economize in certain areas of my life and I just thought that this is something that I can make a little bit cheaper for myself. This will go on here and I have my different colors that I purchased. Um, I bought seven of these pre-made, but we'll see if I need to add like a few more to make it a little bit bigger, but essentially it'll look something like this, which I think will look very, very pretty. Got those, got these, gonna make those another day. That was the only thing I got from the gem fair and I recently purchased a men's like fashion slash lifestyle magazine. 
solely for the purpose of having the cover with Sam Hewen. And it's a pretty nice quality magazine. It's got nice like matte paper. Pretty good, really. I mean, right? It was Zoe Dokus's birthday today. So of course I had to wear my Stony Clover Park and Beach fanny pack and a couple of bracelets to the park. So now going to what I actually bought at Disney. First things first, as you can tell by my outfit, um, I look pink and princesses are awesome. So I got a new magic band. This one, I think it was one of the first styles that they actually came out with, but it sold out very quickly and uh, it eventually restocked. And I think they even have a different design for princesses now. But I like this one and I think it'll go perfectly when I wear this pullover again. It was 40 something dollars. I can't remember, but I still have my discount. So still expensive, but I'm happy to have this because I use it every single time I go to the park. Next thing, got my Pandora jewelry on. So of course, I always have to take a look at Pandora when I'm at Disney. And I of course like to shop in the parks if they have the items just because I can get my full like 20% discount compared to Pandora at Downtown Disney. I think they only honor up to 10%. So I did get a couple of charms. One of them is this new Sorcerer Mickey charm and I like that it's not a dangle because I wear a lot of long sleeve items and I just don't want things to get yanked or, or pull my clothing. So this one, it's got like the waves and he's reading the book while wearing the sorcerer's hat. So I thought that one was cool. At first I thought that this was only going to be like a specific park exclusive, like how I think it's Hong Kong Disney has the new Frozen charms because they have the frozen land there. But I was surprised to see that this one was in the California parks. So I picked up that one. I can't remember how much he was. I'd have to look at the receipt. And then the second one that I got was this Loki charm. Loki is one of my favorite Marvel characters and I loved the Loki series on Disney Plus. So of course I had to get a Loki charm. This may or may not be from Avengers because of the scepter that he's holding and wearing his crown. I'll have to double check. But something I would like to do in the future is start to create a Marvel specific Pandora bracelet. Since I have themed bracelets, I just last year started my Star Wars bracelet. So I'm still looking for just the right charms for that one. I'm gonna have to get that one prepped and ready to go for Star Wars night since Carl and I are going this year for the first time ever. I was only able to get tickets for April, which is still better than nothing. It's just very, very difficult considering we both work and it's gonna be a Tuesday night which is tough, so, but it should still be good. I think with my discount, they still ended up being at least a hundred something dollars. So still on the pricey side, but at least I get my discount. This one I actually purchased one of already, but I got a different size. So I wanted to actually size down for this one. It's a part of the new Star Wars Ashley Eckstein collection. She has like an Ahsoka collection that she did with Disney Parks exclusively, I believe, unless it happens to be up on her universe, but I don't think it is yet. Don't quote me, but it's this nice zipped up hoodie. And I like that it has like the Ahsoka colors, but it's also kind of subtle. You wouldn't necessarily tell. It's not like it has a picture of Ahsoka anywhere. So I feel like I could just wear this generically for Star Wars. I don't know if I would wear this for Star Wars Night because I'd like to wear my robe, my like Jedi slash Sith robe. So um, this will still be nice for the parks and just everyday life. So, and it's got pockets down here. It's really soft inside and I like that it has this faded denim color, but it's still nice and soft. 
and the hoods got a nice color nice and soft as well and i really even like the detail of the what would you call it like it's not a shoelace but it looks like a shoelace with the aglet and everything i really like this so i'm gonna have to return the other size the one that doesn't quite fit it was a little bit too big so this is going back a little bit from one of my last disney trips but i forgot to show it continuing on with the star wars theme of course the star wars fan in case anybody didn't know and i love Darth Vader. Love, love, love. So I got this t-shirt and I think that's going to be really nice to wear. So last but not least, we have... Oh, I totally forgot. Still on the Star Wars train. Got a new hat. And this one is actually a Nike branded hat and I love the embroidery. I have another Nike hat. It's blue and it's got like Mickey Mouse on it. I just thought that this one was really nice, very clean, very classy, and that'll be great to wear with all my Star Wars stuff. The last item that was sold out and then restocked is this Mickey crew neck slash pullover. I say pullovers usually more than crew necks, but same deal. They had a really popular one. It was like a quarter zip with mickey and friends across it and i don't know if it was embroidered or not that one sadly i have not seen restock but i did see this one in my size so i went ahead and grabbed it of course i still need to try on everything so who knows what i'm exactly keeping and what i'm taking back it's something else that like i don't know if i've exclusively mentioned it in my videos but sometimes i don't keep everything sometimes i buy it in the moment because i'm worried it's going to sell out which a lot of stuff ends up selling out but most of the stuff i do keep but every now and then something maybe didn't fit or i feel like it didn't fit my body type well so i don't always keep everything but i do like to show what i got uh, especially if you are potentially interested and if you can go to the parks or find it online or have a friend pick it up for you at one of the disney parks so just wanted to share that little bit of information so yeah it's barely 7 30 but i'm exhausted carl's still not feeling 100 percent so i think i'll probably just make us some tea and i'm not really hungry we had lunch at Lamplight around two or so, but I also drank a lot, a lot of water. <laughs> so I'm not super hungry, but eventually we'll figure out something for dinner, but my head's starting to kind of hurt. So I think I'm gonna have some tea and then call it a night. I was hoping to edit this video tonight so that it's up and running fresh in the morning at 7 a.m., but I think I need to give myself some grace give myself a little bit of a break and I'll edit in the morning and it should hopefully be up sometime tomorrow. If you watched my video, I really appreciate it. I love sharing my Disney adventures, my hauls, all the goodies that I buy, and just things that I get to do in my life. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.